Hello everyone, and welcome back to Benchmark 2. In the last episode, we managed to kill the Ender Dragon, and now we have the end all to ourselves, and we're exploring it, and we're having a lovely little landscape around here. While exploring, trying to pick up some Shell the Night Oil, which I need to use in today's episode, I came across this little thing here. It's got loads of this coloured stony bits, and then there's this really light blue one, the Azure one. And it can be polished and made into bricks. And I kind of feel like this is what I want to start building with. Instead of the blue stone I've got at home. Because I think this is a much nicer colour. Much nicer shade of blue. And it fits more with the theme I'm trying to, trying to make. But this place just looks incredible. I don't know what that is. But I feel like it's some sort of boss. So I'm avoiding it at the moment. But yeah, this place just looks absolutely amazing. I'm looking at the ground because I'm still keeping an eye out for the ore I want because it's quite rare. But this is where I crashed last time, so I want to be careful. Oh god, what's going on over there? That's another cool biome I haven't seen yet. Let's fly over there. And then stop and let the world load in. Because I don't want to crash again. Please don't crash. Wow, it, it looks different colour than it does when you're right up close to it. And then we've got rainbow crystals. Look at the way that, that, that just looks amazing. Do you hear that faint noise? It's very faint. Background noise. What have we got here? Bulb vine. Okay, but I feel like we should come back into the end another day when we're maybe a bit more equipped to deal with some sort of things. Although I do want to look in here. Endermite. We're filled with endermites. There's, there's spawners under each pillar, I think. Okay. Is that a trap chest with TNT underneath it? I think it is. Don't kill me. Right, break all the TNT. Eyes of Ender, oh god, this... What just broke? Oh, my slime boots broke. Diamonds! What have we got in here? More Eyes of Ender, what was... Emeralds, what was the book? Feather Falling 4, I could definitely do with that. Bottle of a chanting. Whoa, look at all those. Okay, I'm just going to grab all this loot. Alright, so we're back home. We've got the shell the night ore, and then we're just going to have to chuck it straight into the furnace here. Although, I could get a grinder and get more out of it, which I think would probably be the smarter thing to do. If I can get mercury in it, I get three platinum dust per shell the night. How do I even get mercury? Oh, actually, I think I have Mercury. Because I've done that to get silicon. But knowing me, I think I've thrown most of it away. Oh, no, I have Mercury. Oh, so we need to make a grinder then. That's our next mission. Industrial grinder. Whoa. Diamond grinding head. Steel ingot. I've got a blast furnace. Okay, so let's get some coal dust. Oh, we do not have much. Grinder, grinder, grinder. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I only need four steel ingots, though, by the looks of it. And then some refined iron. I'm not going to have enough 
coal. I can go steal some from upstairs. It's empty. How full is my mana pool then? Ah, oh, almost enough to get a terrace, terrace ceiling it. Okay, I've acquired a whole bunch of coal. I really need to get my slime boots back as well, because I same, came so close to dying of full damage so many times. It's ridiculous. Okay, that'll be enough coal dust. We just stick it in here with some refined iron. And then wait... We can wait. Need to make some more overclocker upgrades for everything, pretty much. Do you need to get a wire in the floor? Hopefully this isn't a multi-block. It might be. I'm concerned it might be. But anyway, we can start getting the rest of it. Do I have any of this advanced alloy? I do. I need a regular grinder. I think I I made an industrial electrolyzer, didn't I? I did. Yeah, because I started doing this recipe a while ago, but then stopped because I looked at these and I was like, okay, maybe not. Stop pressing buttons. There we go. Uh, grinder's busy. Okay, what else do we need to prepare for this? Advanced circuits, which I can make with silicon and electron plates. Have I got any silicon left? I have. Right, so that should be everything I need to make the industrial grinder. Right, so we've got that. We need to make the regular grinder. We need to make the grinding wheels. And then that should be boom, grinder, done. Stick it on here. It's a multi-block. It's a multi-block. What's that in the middle? That's a bucket of something, but it doesn't look like water. Let's place it somewhere where we can visualize this properly. Okay, so we need some sort of liquid in the middle. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Oh, do you think that's where the mercury goes? I'll try putting mercury in there, but then I need nine, sorry, 18 of those basic machine frames. And then what sort of machine frame is that? See, that's not any of those. It's not a machine frame. It's like Casing or something, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. So I need a standard and some advanced. Which look pretty pricey, to be honest. So all that just for one. That is some pricey stuff. So I need eight of it. So I'm going to need like 48 steel plates. Oh my god. Oh wait, no no no. I wasn't I wasn't saying that this makes four and that one makes one. So we'll definitely be doing it this way, because that uses less steel and less advanced circuits and everything. So I only need to do twelve steel plates and then some of them. Okay, and I'm gonna move my blast furnace over one so then the grinder can sit there. Okay, so that's moved over, and now I just need to make all the bits for this one. Okay, and now I've got all the machine casings. So let's give it a quick build. Test out if I can get away with putting mercury in there. It works! Empty tank though, so I just need to chuck in some of my mercury. And it'll fill up. Then in goes the Sheldonite, and that should be tripled, right? 
That should triple it. Amazing. Get the most out of the ore, because that is a very rare ore to find in the end. And then we get our platinum dust, and then the next step on there to get is to get the MFSU. So to get the Lapatron crystals... It's, no, it's to get these industrial circuits, I need a platinum plate. So how many industrial circuits do I need? Okay, so that I can all get normally. So then I need six of these, 12 of these. So I need 12 platinum plates. So I did have enough, but now I have enough for three. Yeah, look at this go. Do I need to blast furnace this or can I? No, I can just normal smelt it. That's great. And nickel, and I've also got iridium, which is great because iridium is quite a rare thing to get a hold of as well. Does it use up a whole bucket each time? Oh, it does. That's quite a lot. I love the speed of my furnace here. Okay, platinum. I have a platinum. So I need 12 plates, didn't I? Yeah, so I need 12 platinum plates. I'll just get them in the compressor now. And then... So what was it I needed for all of this then? So I need 36 lazarite plates. Jesus, that's going to take a while. I've already got myself some of this lazarite ages ago. Before we even moved, I got myself some of this. Let's just transfer my overclockers over here. Reset it. And then I need... I'm going to need six of these energy crystals. Do I have enough redstone for that? Or am I going to have to go out and fetch some more? So I need six of them, half a stack per one. Hold on. I'm uh Yep, six of these, so I need two so I need six stacks of redstone and six silicon plates. Oh, I have silicon plates, luckily. How much redstone do I have? That looks like enough to me. So it's about seven per stack. Maybe I don't have enough then. Crap. I'm just shy of five stacks. Okay, I've got myself a few more stacks of redstone as well as some iron, which I'll cook up a bit later. So let's get going. So I've got all my bits in here. So I only need six stacks. So that's enough there. And then it's in the chemical combiner, assembling machine. What is it? So they go in the chemical reactor and they, they need a diamond. So I need about 12 diamonds. And then they go in the chemical reactor. Uh, where are my overclockers at at the moment? Oh yeah, and then I've got to reset it for it actually to do the speed. There we go. Okay, and then we combine that in the assembling machine with some silicon. And then we get the six energy crystals that we need, and then we need to upgrade those to Lapatron, and this is where we need the industrial circuits. So I'm going to need to get a whole bunch of them. Okay, I've got myself the advanced circuits. I didn't have enough copper to make enough wires to do it, so I had to cook up some redstone in here, which is why I've got this little chest set up here. Gets me some more mercury, which is nice. And then when I went to use the blast furnace, it said incomplete multi-block. And I was like, maybe it's because they were connected. So I've moved it one over here and it's working now. I've got my advanced circuits. So now I just need to combine them. Wait, I needed 12, didn't I? Why did I only make six? 
I don't I don't have any more redstone to be doing this. Okay, do I do I have enough wires to make six? Okay, it looks like I just about have enough wires to make six. So that's fine then. Redstone I don't have though. Like any hidden away in here. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. I'm just I'm just barely short. Well, to be honest, I could probably use up these bits, not that I want to. Oh, but then I don't have enough redstone to upgrade it. I'm definitely going to need to go out and get some redstone. Because you, ne you then need like four redstone per one to upgrade it. Right, I got some more redstone. I also got some copper and some iron as well. Because we were low on the copper. I really need to hammer them up into dust and get them smelted. I wonder if that goes in the centrifuge as well. Not the centrifuge, the industrial grinder that I made. Doesn't look like it does. Anyway, that's a whole bunch of redstone there, which should be more than enough to craft what I need. Let's get all the bits back out, and then I'm also going to need so six. So I'm going to need twelve glowstone. 12 lapis, 24 redstone. Okay, so those that's all them. And then assembly machine. I did not start making the first six. That was stupid. Here we go. And I come back over. Uh, oh, I need my little ones. Energy crystal. Let's see if I can remember how to make it. There's that. Boom, Lapatron Crystal. We are making some great progress. And then all we need now for the MFE, for the MFS use the MFE, I'll use the old one, an advanced machine frame, and then another advanced circuit, annoyingly. So let's get ready for the advanced machine frame. I feel like I have a carbon plate. And we can get another one. Okay, so that's everything. And then I just need to grab the MFE. And I should be able to craft that up to an MFSU. Uh, it was that, and it was that, and then six of these. MFSU, one giant leap for mankind. Oh, it's zero percent charge, so it didn't take the power from the last one, unfortunately. How fast it charged the jetpack? That's still quite slow, to be honest. I was expecting it to be much faster, but it is it is a lot faster than it was. Which is good, so we'll be able to get a jetpack charged a lot quicker now. But it's still a shame that it's not going as fast as I thought it would. What's the next step up from the MFSU then? I thought that was it. Oh. So it's down here, so MFSU. I don't know. I think that's it. There's the charger map I could make. Right, anyway, that is going to do it for this episode. We've made ourselves an MFSU to charge our jetpack much faster, which I think is a huge success. In the next episode, I think I might want to get back into Botania or maybe build a quarry. I haven't decided yet, but check back in to see what I want to do. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.